Hi, Jumbo. My name is Bernard Rono. I'm the CIO at Kenya Tea Packers. Really great pleasure to speak to you at the World CIO 200 Summit on Africa's IT transformational outlook. Uh, a little bit about tea. I work with Kenya Tea Packers, and Kenya Tea Packers is the largest tea packaging and blending company in Kenya. We have over 50 products, uh, ranging from black tea to your orthodox tea, herbal tea. Uh, and, you know, we've had strong innovation the past couple of years in order to match the ever demanding and dynamic uh, market and to also provide products that appeals to the millennials as well as the very health conscious team. Uh, Kenya Tea Packers has been the leading tea packaging company for the past 43 years. So for 43 years, we have perfected the art. See a little bit about tea. Kenya is the world's largest black tea exporter to the world. And when you look at tea as a beverage, um, it's the second most popular drink in the world after water. And for 43 years, we have perfected the art of blending and packaging. Nothing prepared us for the pandemic. Looking at the past two years, the entire globe went through a hard reset. Nothing prepared us for this pandemic. I mean, who ever thought that one day our air spaces would be shut, not because of war, but because of a pandemic. Our global supply chain systems faced extreme pressure. You know, we import a few materials that we use to package our teas. And during this season, it's been one of the most challenging times. One of the key lessons from this pandemic, I would say, has been that no industry is immune to the disruption. Whether you are in the academia, in the hospitality, in the manufacturing setup as we are, of course we deal with fast moving consumer goods. Without a doubt, no industry has been immune to the level of disruption that has come with the COVID pandemic. But look, how does Africa's outlook for the next decade look like? Five years ago, I joined this company as the head of ICT, and I was tasked with a mission to transform this company digitally and prepare it for the future. By the time the pandemic was hitting our country, without a doubt, and from a systems perspective, we were prepared. Not entirely prepared, but fairly prepared to handle the challenges that came with the pandemic. Uh, our company has been running on a theme that we leverage on ICT for innovation, automation, lowering operation, operational costs, and to also mitigate the risks that comes with running such a business. And the ride has been bumpy, but the technology we've leveraged on has made that ride manageable. Some of the technologies we've rolled out has been cutting edge. Without a doubt, we are in the fourth industrial revolution, where in Africa, we're looking at major technologies that would shape the next decade. We're looking at a growth in e-commerce. We're looking at artificial intelligence, going to be huge. We're looking at blockchain. Uh, we're looking at uh, intensive ERPs and CRMs that has robust features. Big data will be huge. Uh, we leverage a lot on data as an FMCG company for decision making. Automation will be definitely at the top of my uh, thought process when I look at Africa for the next decade. When the pandemic set in, our e-commerce sales shot up because our normal way of life was disrupted. You couldn't get your good products uh, in the old traditional channels. Many people switched to e-commerce. Uh, you know, we've been able to ship all our products to more than 42 countries globally. And that has been thanks to technology. Now, some of the technologies, in my opinion, that will shape the next century, I would think of four clusters of technologies that would shape Africa for the next decade. I think automation will be huge. If there's any lesson we picked up from the pandemic, is that we have to be agile as a company and we need to be ready and prepared. 
I see R RPA being huge uh, in terms of automation, end to end. Cyber defense will be huge. You see, it goes without saying that when your online transactions goes up, then your cyber defense strategy has got to be robust. We've already seen leading companies, leading cyber defense companies producing the next generation of firewalls. Uh, there's going to be a lot of focus around cyber security. As a manufacturing company, robotics will play a key role in cutting costs and preparing companies for the next challenge. I think artificial intelligence will play a big role. Last year, uh, Kenya Tipakas was the, la the leading company under CIO East Africa ranking, the leading manufacturing company leveraging on technology for growth. And some of the technologies we deployed way before the pandemic was a real lifesaver during the pandemic. Generally, all the CIOs across all the global companies have a challenge to position their IT strategy and align it with the business. Many companies that were not prepared for the kind of disruptions that we've experienced during this season wished they'd invested more in technology. One of the good things, though, I must say about the pandemic has been, it's been an accelerant in digital transformation. Many technologies have come and have has had, you know, fast approval process. And most of the time, those innovations, those thought, the thought process around those technologies were majorly driven by the pandemic. Now, companies have had to relook at their strategic plans. Many of the manufacturing companies that were not prepared for this pandemic have had to go back to the drawing board to rethink around what technologies are relevant. Many technologies have been declared obsolete and redundant. For the first time in many years, the CIO's role in many companies have been elevated to the place that they should be, at the center of the decision making. One of the first technologies we adopted about three years ago was in a tool that is predictive in nature. So we ventured out into one of the world's leading business intelligence tool, and we were able to provide the company with predictive analytics. The, uh, without a, an analytic tool that is able to predict the future, then as a company, you remain exposed. But the future of data will be around predictive analytics. Let me just go back to e-commerce a little bit. I think e-commerce, looking at Kenya as the leading mobile money provider in the, across the globe, you're looking at mobile money playing a key role in Africa for the next decade. I say that because with everybody, probably with a smartphone and with a standard phone able to transact seamlessly and securely, then that in itself is a key enabler to the business. But as Kenya T-Packers, we've been able to list many of our products ac across global e-commerce platforms. I mean, when you have your product in Jumia, you have your product in Alibaba, you have your product across major e-commerce platforms, then you're able to reach your customers far and wide. The next technologies that would shape the next century would be around automation. Way before COVID, we thought about how we can automate our sales process. And we were running a pretty manual process. But then as a CIO, I was challenged to automate our sales process. And so you're talking about your ordering process from end to end being paperless. That increased visibility. So the business is able to monitor performance and check on how you can fulfill and delight the customer further. So the Salesforce Automation Project was a project that involved a, a couple of technologies. Of course, it was a, it's a cloud-based solution partnered with a local great vendor. And this technology has AI elements. This technology basically automates the entire process. The entire Salesforce for Kenya T-Packers operate on a smart gadget. And when you're working in the field, you're able to feed in information about the performance of your trade. You're able to monitor competitor activities. And this tool has been extremely transformational. 
I think Africa's outlook looks very promising. And this is where things will happen. And so in conclusion and finally, to the world CIO 200, it's been a great pleasure speaking to you from our head office in Kericho, Kenya. And this is from Kenya T. Parkers. And thank you very much.